For this micro lecture, we're going to focus on the major biomes of the world and kind of do a play-by-play -play of each of the uh, uh, major forested regions of the world. Uh, for simplicity's sake, we'll break down the uh, primary forest biomes into three. Your taiga forests or boreal forests, which occur in the far northern hemisphere in the world. Uh, your temperate forests, which is what we see here in the southeastern United States and throughout western Europe and the tropical rainforests, which uh, exist uh, close to the equator. In South America, what you see uh, are a lot of uh, lowland broadleaf rainforests or tropical forests in the northern part, but then as you move, uh, move farther south, you do end up with uh, more dry forests or what you know, almost might be considered temperate forests in the east and central region. But as you can see from the map on the left, uh, the Amazon rainforest highlighted in dark green there, extensive uh, lowland broadleaf rainforest areas. In Central America, along the coast especially, you find a lot of your mangrove forests, but uh, once you get into the interior of Central America, um, kind of the Rockies, if you were to think about it, stretch all the way down through, uh, uh, through Central America, and you end up with very uh, high altitude uh, montane forests and then as you creep down towards the coast those turn into more broadleaf tropical forests and even some uh, uh, habitats that um, that pines, mixed hardwood and pine uh, pines occupy as well. In Western Europe you end up with primarily broadleaf uh, forests and scrub forests, like I said in, uh, micro, in the first micro lecture for this module, there's not a lot of species diversity uh, and you do end up with a lot of scrubby forests, especially in drier areas uh, in far western Europe like Spain and Portugal where they have a lot of, uh, a lot of fires. In Russia and northeastern Asia, as well as into Canada, you find the uh, boreal forests, or also known as the taiga forest. Those are your evergreen forests and represent the largest forested biome um, in the world. In Africa, especially in Central Africa, uh, the forests are dominated by uh, lowland tropical species and as you can see in Northern Af Africa, uh, there on the map, there's nothing there because that's the uh, Sahara, but as you get closer to the Sahara, you end up with a lot more sparse tree cover and, and again, thornier kind of scrub forests. And as you move into so uh, Southern Africa, you do have more deciduous or semi-deciduous broadleaf forest. You do have a little bit of seasonality, and that's the area where most of your parklands, uh, your safari tour areas, uh, where the big game are um, in more uh, central southern Africa. And then, of course, uh, in the United States or North America, you have a, a very diverse ecosystem, uh, a lot of different uh, forest types and a lot of different species as well. and uh, we will be discussing those forest types uh, at a later micro lecture.